All right, guys, how you guys doing? Here we go. If we, if we go I'll text you where we're going. Okay. Probably. Possibly. Can I just the yeah. You just got to meet my mama. Okay. <clears throat> You've met one of the family members. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to go today? Oh, this way. Um, I'm just doing a ride right now. Um, while we're kind of waiting to go get something to eat for dinner, which is what you just heard my mom talking about. So, uh, you got some kids over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to go to the right just for a second because I want to see who's playing over here. We're going to see who's playing. There's a, uh, I don't know if any of you guys know this, um, my Texas subscribers or Texas viewers will definitely know this in Texas the football is the biggest sport ever like it, it just is so we treat high school football games like college football games who was it Georgetown and I can't read the other team but um Anyway, yeah, so I mean, we treat, we treat uh, high school games like college games down here. It's insane. Like, you've never seen any kind of football until you see Texas football. Um, we have <coughs> a stadium here in Texas that was originally a high school football stadium. Um that they use sometimes for Major League Soccer games. Um, like, it's preseason stuff, but you still, I mean, it's that big. So, um, this right here in front of me, actually, if you keep going straight through this light, uh, that's my high school on the right there. Uh, Vista Ridge High School. Home of the Rangers. There we go. Um, but yeah, I couldn't see who the other team was. Looks like uh, Georgetown and Belton, Belton High School, but uh, I, I can't see that far for here because our scoreboard is kind of weird during the light, so we'll see. Um, just got back from the uh, Baylor Oklahoma State game. Ooh, there's a popo on a motorcycle up here. Um, but yeah, so I just got back from the Baylor Oklahoma State game. Um, we beat them. Baylor beat uh, Oklahoma State, 41 to 34, I believe. Um, sounds right. I can't remember what the exact score was, but I remember we beat them by uh, we beat them by seven. So. Um, and for the record, I do know that I say, there are certain phrases that I say, that I say a lot, and I'm really sorry if they get annoying, because I realize that I do that. Like, let me see some of the phrases that I say. One is, um, I say um a lot. One is, um, what's another one? See, I just said it again. What's another one, though? For that matter, I say that a lot. Uh, I just said one, like... Oh, okay. I believe is another one. I say that a lot, too. And I also say for crying out loud. My girlfriend makes fun of me for that. Because she knows that I say it way too much. So... Um... I really don't want to sit in this traffic. So... I'll have to anyway. Crack my visor, it's getting foggy in here. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, so if I say those phrases and then it gets kind of annoying, my bad. Um, <coughs> um, if you guys would like me to adjust the camera angle on my helmet, then please tell me that. Because I noticed on my last video it was kind of a little bit down, maybe. But I'm not sure if you guys agree with that or not. So, we'll have to see. But, uh... Let's see what the police officer waves. There's actually not a police officer now. Where'd he go? Oh well. Wave to him anyway. Okay. But, um... So we're just gonna go take a ride back to what I was saying. I also get distracted a lot. So back to what I was saying. We're gonna go take a ride. Just for fun. To, um... See what we can find or something like that maybe I don't know yeah, that's that's one of the fun things about motorcycles is just going out on a day and then um, whenever you get out there just just ride around take streets that you wouldn't normally take um, you know just see where they go it's just kind of fun the only thing you got to worry about is the road surface um, Obviously, you don't want to take a road that's, like, really uh, gravelly or something like that. I say that phrase a lot, too, or something like that. Um, <coughs> what else? Okay, I just thought of a topic to talk about. Road surfaces. Road surfaces in Texas. Let me tell you. There, I've never seen anything worse as in road surfaces or as in um, debris or as in debris in the road um, I, I'll tell you like you've seen I mean every once in a while whenever you're driving down the, the highway or whatever in normal states You'll see, um, you know, like trash bags, or you'll see, uh, you know, wood from a wood truck, or you know, something like that. In Texas, uh, specifically in Austin, I have seen, and this is just all that I can recall, so, and it's much, much, much more than this. Um, I have seen mattresses, I have seen full beds. I've seen flat screen TVs, I've seen lawn furniture, I've seen um, chests like um, vanities and stuff like that, um, I've seen just big, um, you know like the cans that they use to carry oil, like oil cans, I've seen those, I've seen tires, like whole tires that looks like they just fell off of a car and kept rolling. Um, I've seen those. Um, I mean, that's just the name of a few. But uh, I mean, you see everything down here that's in the road possible. Um, you know, something like that that might fall out of that truck and go into the road somewhere and then that'll be in the road because Texas people seem to have a problem with tying their stuff down and I don't know why that is but they seem to have a problem with it so this is kind of a cool little neighborhood it's kind of back in here. I always kind of pictured this like whenever I first saw it. Because they have like um, little roundabouts and like a, a white bridge right here. And they have little American flags dangling from the white posts. I always kind of thought those looked kind of like presidential. Or something like that. You know, not literally presidential. But it reminds me of like America, I guess you could just say. You know, America. Um... But, I mean, that's just kind of what it remind me of. 
And you got like this big clock tower right here. That looks pretty cool. Um, let's see what is down here. We'll go down that way in a second over there. But right now we're gonna go around here. Because there is a big old, uh, what do you wanna call it? Kind of like a gym. Uh, like a workout center or a athletic center, whatever you want to call it. Um, sorry, that noise is really loud in the microphone, and I just realized that during my last video. It's a recreation center. That's the word I was looking for. But, uh, so yeah, you got this big recreation center right here, which is kind of nice. You have to have a membership to go there, but then again, you do with most of them, so... My nose is running like a mofo right now. But, um, yeah. So, I think I might make this a part one, just so the video isn't too long. So, we'll, uh, go up here around this clock tower. And, um, you'll get to see what's down this road over here. So, um, that'll be in the next video, and, uh, it'll be a surprise. There is something down there, so don't just be like, oh, it's going to be a neighborhood. There actually is something down here. So, yep. So, anyway, guys, if you have any success or suggestions for me, then please do not hesitate to put them in the description below. Bye.